Now, James, you see the difference between a person that goes to church and don't? The ones that don't go to church actually have a better answer than the ones that do and get indoctrinated. Bring it out. Because when we go to church, we get indoctrinated. Right. His answer is, I don't know. That's a great answer because it's honest. Because a Christian person has never been able to explain to none of us what the Holy Ghost is. You didn't explain it. You just said it is a spirit. It is a spirit. And he did the stairs and everything. It is a spirit that you receive. Come on, come on, come on, James. Do you go to church, James? Yeah. Don't try to put the bondage on me. Okay. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> Don't try to put the bondage on you. No do you go to church, me. James? Christ has made me free. James, do you and go to church? I'm free. Do you go to church? I go to church. What day you go to church on, James? Whenever I want to go to church. Which is mostly what Sunday day, ain't it? The Bible says no, James, no, James. no, Listen, no, 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 Let's get that in Colossians, man. Let no man judge well, you see, in nah, death. Nah, oh, man. Nah, you just, all, James, you're doing, you, hey, all, James, you, all you're doing is James, saying what are, I say. You in Christianity all day, and we know it. Watch this. Watch this, James. You got to get Colossians. Colossians <laughs> 2 16, I think. Watch this. We're going to read it for you. You say what now? You're going to be Christ like you got to have the Holy Ghost. What's the Holy Ghost, James? Uh, the Spirit of God. Huh? The Spirit of God? If you got the Holy Ghost, what is it though? What's the Spirit of God? The Holy Spirit, man. What's the Holy Spirit of God? Because see, if I'm your son, it's your job to tell me what these things are. But I don't know, what is the Spirit of God, James? Tell me what he's saying. Okay, here we go, he took the mask off. When you're born again. You know anything about this? When you're born again, what does that mean? From flesh to spirit. Flesh to spirit. Okay. If you're born again, he said he go and uh, what is it? John 14. Okay, so John, John 14. 14. Okay. He said, when I go, I leave you another comfort, which is the Holy Spirit. And what is that? And the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. He's he gonna spirit. do what? Wait, the Holy Spirit is gonna do what? Guide you into all truth. He's the, the Holy spirit, spirit of truth. Let's get the scripture that he called. Oh, what? Yeah. what? And we're gonna now you're gonna get the same James, scripture James. I just got you talking. I know, we got it. You quoted it. We're gonna read the one that you quoted. We're gonna read first we're gonna read Colossians, then we're gonna go to John 14, which you quoted. We're gonna answer, we're gonna read it out of the Bible. I own, I'm gonna answer the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the laws of God. The Holy Spirit is the Bible. The comforter that Christ sent to teach us all things is the Bible. Because where do we learn that we're Israelites? The Bible. What did you learn? We didn't learn this by anything out in the world. We didn't learn it in the Christian church because it's supposed to teach you. Right. What is it teaching you? To jump around? No. That's not what the Bible says. Let's read Colossians because that's what he quoted earlier about letting no man judge you. And we're going to look, we're going to go through both of these scriptures with you, James. Read. Colossians chapter 2, verse 16. Yeah. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day. Or on a new moon, or on a Sabbath day. So, what was, so this right here says, let no man judge you for that. That's what you're saying. 
Now watch this. Go to Ezekiel 45, 17. Watch this. Let's see what, no, let's see what they was doing. The argument in Colossians is that our people did not believe on Christ. We were doing animal sacrifice when Christ said, stop. Don't do that no more. Okay. So now the Pharisees was judging the people because they did not want to sacrifice on the Sabbath or new moons. So because they didn't, the Pharisees was judging them for it and trying to condemn them. But this says don't let them do it. So now we're going to read what they was doing, the proof that that was what was happening. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 45 verse 17. And it shall be the prison's part to give birth offerings so they should give burnt offerings read on and meat offerings. but didn't it say in in, in colossians that no man judge you in there for meat because it was talking about meat offerings read on and drink offerings. it said in drink drink offerings read on in the feast uh -huh. and in the new moons uh -huh. and in the sabbaths uh -huh. and all solemnities of the house of israel uh -huh. he shall prepare the sin offering so these are offerings that they gave on the new moons and sabbath days read on and the meat offering uh -huh. and the burnt offering read on and peace offering read. to make re reconciliation for the house of israel how do we make reconciliation now james through christ now you must obey the commandments ain't no sacrifice you're gonna burn and god gonna say you're gonna get the kingdom no you are the living sacrifice now right. so that's why it says in colossians don't let nobody take you back to sacrificing animals no keep the commandments and faith in christ now so so when you say so when you say about the sabbath day it's not telling you not to keep the sabbath day it's telling you don't do sacrifices on the sabbath day right. come on james now let's go to the Holy Ghost. So he said he shook his head. He understood that. And he, hey, when we read it, he say it's written. I like that. How you doing, my brother? All praise. What's your name? Ricky. Ricky. All right, Ricky. We going through with James. He had actually asked about the Holy Ghost. You know what the Holy Ghost is? To explain it to me. If I ask you what the Holy Ghost, could you explain it to me? He couldn't. He tried. He's a, 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 a spirit. Huh? A spirit. A spirit. Okay. So now we're going to read what he said about the Holy Ghost. Read this. John chapter 14, verse 23. You, you going to read? You going to go get your mic? All oh, praises, James. <laughs> Listen, look, oh, you ain't even got to go get your own mic, James. What you can do is come with us, come learn, and then you can come right out here and use the same mic we use it. All oh, praise. Read. John chapter 14, verse 26. Uh -huh. But the which is, which is the Holy Ghost. The Comforter which is the Holy Ghost. Right? Whom the Father will send in my name, uh -huh. he shall teach you. So the Holy Ghost shall teach you. What is the Holy Ghost going to teach you? What is the Holy Ghost going to yes. teach you? That's why I keep the commandments and laws, because that's the Holy Ghost. Huh? I have no idea. Here we go. All praises, Ricky. That's a great answer. See, you you go to church, Ricky? Uh, no. No. Now, James, you see the difference between a person that goes to church and don't? The ones that don't go to church actually have a better answer than the ones that do and get indoctrinated. Bring it out. Because when we go to church, we get indoctrinated. Right. His answer is, I don't know. That's a great answer because it's honest. Because a Christian person has never been able to explain to none of us what the Holy Ghost is. You didn't explain it. You just said it is a spirit. And he did the stairs and everything. It is a spirit that you receive. I say, what is that? The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, what is that? You still don't know either. Me neither. That's why Ricky, I said, he can't tell. Read the Bible. Yeah. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, Read. whom the Father will send in my name, uh -huh. he shall teach you all things uh -huh. and bring all things to your remembrance. He's going to bring everything into our remembrance. What's your race? Black, Af Black, Black African American. How old are you? 35. You're 35. You were born when we were called African Americans. Right. So what was I since I'm three years older than you? What is he since he's 62 then? Same you see, we're the same race of people, but we're not African American. That's a slave name. Just like our last name that we were given here. All, so in order for us to come back into remembrance, remembrance of what? That we the Israelites. You say you're an African American. You're from the tribe of Judah. 
You an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You're the real Jew on earth. The real Jews went through slavery on slave ships. What other race of people did this happen to? James, did anybody else go into slavery on slave ships or just us? Did any other race of people did this happen to? No, so he knows that. Now watch this. Because it said this Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is gonna bring everything into your remembrance, right? Watch this. Now let's go to nope. Let's go to uh. Now let's go to Acts seven. So watch, watch. We're gonna show you what the Holy Ghost is in the Bible, not from what somebody said. We're gonna read it out of God mouthpiece, and we're gonna read it for him too, cause he said he African American. Now he don't know who he is. It, it ain't the mic. It ain't got nothing to do with the mic. We actually teach like this too, Ricky. Right. We do this right. all the time, Ricky. Right. Right. Read. Acts chapter 7, verse 51. Read it out. Read stiff neck and uncircumcised. It says stiff neck and uncircumcised. Our people are hard headed. That's what, ain't we a hard headed people, Ricky? You show sure is. Read. And heart and ears. And we don't want to hear what God said. Read on. You do always resist. The Holy Ghost. It says, Rick, it says, James, we always resist the Holy Ghost. We always resist the Holy Ghost. Our people resist the Holy Ghost. Let's see what it is. Read. As our fathers did, so do ye. As our forefathers did, so do we. So now, James, our forefathers was in sin. They did not do what God said. Yeah. Uh, in the wilderness. So we didn't listen in the wilderness. Right. So watch this. Read. Which other prophets have not? Your fathers persecuted. Because they killed all the prophets. All the prophets were put to death by our own people because we was telling them the truth. Read. And they have slain them. And they slain them. They killed them. Read. When so before the coming of the just They was only teaching about Christ coming to save us and keeping the laws. That's all we was teaching, James. Now you don't want to listen, because now we ain't got no might, but we practice like this all the time. Oh, Read. Of whom you have been now betrayers and murderers. So our people killed all the prophets, James. They murdered them. You know about that? They murdered Christ too. Read, now let's see what that Holy Ghost that they denied. Read the next verse. How y'all doing? Y'all get him a flyer? Y'all get a flyer? Read on. Who have received the law. Uh oh, they received the law. Read. By the disposition of angels. By teachers. The prophets are called angels, messengers of God. Read on. And they have not kept it. So they denied the laws of God. So what's the Holy Ghost in the Bible, Rick? So read 51 again. Watch this. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears. You do always resist the Holy Ghost. 53 now. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. So what's the Holy Ghost? What's the Holy Ghost? Stiff, stiff neck person. No, no, what did they deny? Did I say it again? Huh? What did they deny, James? What did, the, what did they not keep? Read, read, read 51 again. Watch again. Ye stiff neck and I'm circumcised in heart. So he says, you people, read on, and is, you do always resist the Holy Ghost. Our people always resist the Holy Ghost. Read 53. What's the Holy Ghost? Who have received the law. What did the people receive? The laws of God. The people received the laws. Read. By the disposition of angels. So the prophets taught them the laws. Read on. And have not kept it. But the people didn't keep it. So what is the Holy Ghost in the Bible? What did we not keep? No. The laws, James. That's the Holy Ghost. No. The laws, James. Wow. So when our people say we got the Holy Ghost, you must be keeping the laws of God. Right. That's the Bible. We're reading this out of the Bible. That's the remembrance that you was talking about in John 14, right. that Christ was going to reveal to us the only way to get Christ, which is the Holy Ghost, keep the commandments and faith in Christ. That's it. You got a flyer? So on the back of the flyer, in the black part, there's a website, our phone number, and our address. Come see us, bro. We meet every every Saturday at 3 o'clock. It's a law we come together. Now you know the Holy Ghost. There's a law we must come together on the Sabbath day. Come with us. Keep the commandments, bro. I'm, I'm missing it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm 
done this. <laughs> okay. Well, now. Oh, oh, James don't want no more smoke. Here we go, James. Here we go, James. You want the fire? You, you, sure you, want the fire? you sure you want the fire? That's smoke you bring. You sure you want the fire? You're right. That's smoke you bring. Now, let's see. It ain't fire. Watch this. Watch this. Let's go to Isaiah 6. I want to ask you this now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If you, hey, if you got, hold on. If you got the truth. If I got the truth? If you if you got the truth, then you tell me. If I got the truth? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you, hold on, let's, let's, let's not finish. Go ahead, I'm going to let you get If you got the truth, uh -huh. then God's supposed to back you up. If I got the truth, God is going to back me up. Have I read anything that I did not say? Out of, did I say anything that was not in the Bible? That means God backed everything up I said. Oh, oh James. God backed up everything I've said today because we read it out of the Bible. Right. You didn't read what you said out of the Bible. <laughs> Come on, man. You know, they going to be the same thing, right? Those ain't going to change. The, the words didn't change. But why people go to church on Sunday? They just don't want to do what it says. Uh-huh. Now. Now. The Bible says, how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and power. And he went about doing good and healed all. He did. You said he did good? You said that he went about doing good? And healed all them that are possessed. And when, and when he healed them, what did he say? Go sin no more. He said, don't go sin no more. So wait, wait. So that means they got to keep the laws. Come on, James. I'm not finished. Go ahead. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> if God with you, then the devil supposed to come out of him now. The devil supposed to come out? God supposed to heal him. Hey, hey how many of us are in the Christian church? Y'all used to be in the Christian church? Are we in the Christian church anymore? No, sir. The devil came out of us. All praises to the yeah, most high. Boy. All praises to the most high. Come on, James. What else you got? You got to do better than that. You got to do better than that. That's what the commercial said. Hey, listen. Now watch this about the set. Watch this about what you said about the fire, James. Watch this. 15. Watch this. Read. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Look it you out. said you want the fire. For behold, the Lord will come with Christ is coming back with fire. This ain't happened yet, so it's going to happen. Read. And with his chariots, uh -huh. like a whirlwind, uh -huh. to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So Christ is coming back to to to, to execute fury. Right. He's mad at a whole lot of people, James. He gonna kill them all. Read. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Read on. And the slave of the Lord shall be many. So when Christ come and plead with us, it's going to be with fire and, and a sword, with death. Right. He ain't coming to beg you to do nothing. You ain't did it, he going to kill you. But in, but in church, they say you're going to be, hold on, James, i let you talk, James, i let you talk. We're going to finish reading it. Read on. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens. We have one tree in the midst. So that's what we was doing in our dollar tree. Christianity is idolatry. Christ is going to kill everybody that's in Christianity and Islam and Egyptology or whatever you want to call it. Read on. Hey, did y'all get a flyer? All praises. All praises. Y'all check that flyer out. Bring your family, sis. Y'all are the real Jews. We're showing that when Christ come back, it is going to be flames of fire. Y'all watch? Hey, what's your name? Hey, come visit. Come on, come visit. We hey, at the school at the address at, at 3 o'clock every Saturday. You can come now, even though, yeah, you can bring your family right now. All right, all praises. Read. Eating swine's flesh. So look, what if we're eating swine's flesh? James has said Christ is going to kill us. So if you're eating a pig, because ain't that what they do in the Christian church, James? Don't they do that in the, I'm a Christian. What? I do what God says. I'm not in Christianity. Yes, no, right. I'm not. Read on. Eating swine's flesh. Uh -huh. And the abomination. So our people sitting there eating squirrels, rats. They're in all kinds of little shrimp, crab, lobster, all that's abomination. Read on. And the mouse shall be consumed together, save the Lord. All those people that are doing those sins will be consumed together, save the Lord. Now let's read about the Sabbath day in this same chapter. Jump down to the last three verses, the last two, three verses. Verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, uh -huh. and from one Sabbath to another, uh -huh. shall all flesh come to worship me. Before me, save the Lord. So wait a minute. So James, you mean to tell me that they had to keep the Sabbath before and today we don't, but when we get to heaven, we are going to? That's crazy. The Bible says we're supposed to do the Sabbath day forever. There is no break. So even in heaven, when we get the kingdom, there's going to be new moons. 
There's going to be Sabbath. There's going to be feast days like Passover that you're supposed to be keeping now. Right. But you don't know anything about them because they don't teach them in Christianity. Read. And this is what's going to happen for all those that do and don't. There's a reward in the, and there's a reward and also a condemnation that come with it. Read. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. So everybody that broke the Sabbath, that ate all the abomination, that was all in their sin and said it's okay, I don't have to change nothing, I can stay here, said they're going to be looked upon, their carcasses will be looked upon. Read, every new moon and every Sabbath we're going to see them. Read. For their worm shall not die. They're going to burn forever because the worm ain't going to die. You're going to feel that pain forever. That means your worm don't die, you don't burn, and it's over. No, you're going to burn, and it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. You will never get used to that, James. So you must come out of that church. Read. Neither shall their fire be quenched, uh -huh. and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. They will be an abhorring to all flesh, James. It is going to be bad. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.